Wise and Burnley versus Stockport County in the Autoglass Trophy area final first leg at Turf Moor. And Burnley first on the attack and with the first chance. But with six first teamers missing, John Pender's head up was one of the few chances that came the Turf Moor side's way. A massive crowd here at Burnley. Roger Eli, one of the survivors of the injury bite at the moment. His run and cross nearly provided a chance, but there was nobody there sufficiently enough to create and put away the opportunity. Stockport, to be realistic, had the better of the game. And it wasn't a surprise when Kevin Francis popped up to head home the first goal of the game in the second half. had two or three other opportunities to increase that lead Jim Carstairs with the shot Francis you felt with an easier chance than the one that he scored great defending from Burnley Peter Ward then probably came the nearest that anybody did other than scoring that free kick hitting the bar and somehow Burnley scampering the ball away Right at the end, Burnley nearly snatched an equaliser. The free kick headed on and John Pender a whisker away from nodding in what would have been a one-all draw. <laughs> Graham Lancashire, like the rest of the side, did his best. But in the end, it was just all too much for the Burnley second teamers. Stockport winning the first leg 1-0. Good evening at Turf Moor. Don't forget our next match here at Turf Moor. Well, Jimmy, a frustrating night for Burnley tonight. But do you think you can still get through to Wembley? Well, you've got to believe so, haven't you? Because at the end of the day, we're only one down. Albeit it was, a, uh, it was our home leg. Um, we've got to go there, and I know how difficult it is because I was here on two or three occasions leading up to this game to watch Stockport's games, and um, they're an intimidating sort of side, and uh, we know exactly what we've got to do to get, try and get the uh, the right result. How difficult do you think it was for the team trying to cope with six foot seven Kevin Francis? Well, I don't think it was difficult for the team to, de to, to deal with six foot seven Kevin Francis. It was difficult for the team to deal with six people who should have been playing tonight who weren't playing. And that was the problem that we had leading up to tonight's game. Um, I had four uh, very bad injuries and two lads who were normally in the team who were cup tied because of them, um, who I've bought in recent months, who have played for the previous clubs. So that was the most difficult part to accept tonight. Mike Conroy, I suppose, the notable absentee. Well, your top goal scorer. He's got 25 goals this year. Um, He's had a magnificent season, and um, at the last minute, you, end, you find out that he, it's, well, I put it like this, at quarter past six, and I thought he was playing. And then eventually I find out that he's not playing. But as you said, 1-0 down from the home leg, you could still go there and do to Stockport what they've done to you here, in a sense. Yes, well, I've got seven days to get all my players fit, and um, I'm hoping that at least I've got... Um, 75, 80 percent of them players fit for the for the for the return leg, and then then I can honestly turn around and say, well, okay, let's find out what stuff Port are made of then. A rare setback, really, for Burnley because since New Year, especially, you've been going very well, haven't you? Yeah, we've done very very well. Um, it's a test of how far down the road we've come when you play against a third division team like Stockport, who are high, you know riding high in the, in the third division. And the type of football that they play is, is an intimidating type of football. And of course, as, as we said before, the big fellow up front, he knocks, him, he knocks the things around and he gets people to drop and gets the ball to drop in certain areas. And we've got to handle it. And 
you know, I thought we dealt with the boy very, very well defensively tonight. And I said to the lads before the game that the major problem that Stockport will cause you is from set pieces, and that's exactly what happened. 13,000 fans here tonight. I suppose a testimony of the way the club continues to progress. Yeah, well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Um, the supporters of Burnley Football Club have been magnificent, absolutely magnificent, certainly since, um, since October when I was given the job. And um, we are very proud tonight, and uh, the players are very proud tonight that they've, they've turned out in the numbers because it's been a good night. It's been belting down the rain, hasn't been the best of conditions, and we just hope that we can reward them with the sort of performance that they will be looking for next week at, uh, at Stockport. Finally, Jimmy, how would you summarise the task that Burnley face now in the autoglass? Very, very difficult. Very difficult. But um, we're made of the right mixture and I would expect my players to respond in the right way between now and next Wednesday.